Hello everybody. Today I'm going to dismantle this X32, not all the way, but I'm going to separate the halves and replace the CR32 2032 battery. I've got a new one here. This battery controls the clock and the clock on this unit I got it used is uh, not holding time. So I'm gonna replace the battery inside it so it will hold time. So I'm gonna show you how to dismantle this and change the battery. It's a rather simple process. Uh, you will need some tools, mainly a Phillips screwdriver. So I'm gonna show you the process to separate the halves in the event that you need to get in there uh, or just to change the battery as we're gonna do. You definitely wanna disconnect it first. And the first step is going to be in taking these plastic side panels off. There are five screws here. So I'll be removing, be removing those five screws on both sides. I like to use these magnetic trays to hold my screws. It's very handy. And you see this just comes off, no problem. We'll put that to the side. Flip it around and get the other side. Panel okay. number two off. Okay, now that we have the two side panels off, now we have to take out the screws that are going to separate the halves and those are separate. I'm gonna use this. We have to take these five off on this side, just the top ones, because we're gonna flip it up like this. So these five have to come off. And then there are some along the back. All of these top ones are gonna have to come off. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight across the top that have to come off. And the five on the other side. And last but not least, these on the bottom row down here. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across the bottom that we also have to remove. So I'll be getting those off also. We'll just start with the bottom ones. I have a drill here that's gonna help me do it quickly. I don't mind using a drill to take the screws out, but uh, very rarely will I use a drill to put the screws back in because it's very easy to strip the screws. They're fine thread. I usually use a screwdriver to put them back in, but taking them out, it is quicker to use this. Um, I forgot to mention this screw in the center also has to come out, so don't forget about this one. Mine is missing the center foot, by the way, but that's okay. So you might have to get this off to access the screw, I'm not sure, um, but that definitely has to come up also. It's the same size screw as the side panels. So we'll put it over there with that. So now we've got the bottom off, now we need to get the sides off and then we'll be able to separate the halves. So I'm just gonna flip it back over. And get these side screws off. These screws on the back are the same as the ones that were on the bottom and the front, so we can put those together. Okay, now I have the screws removed across the bottom and the front, I have the screws removed across the back, and I have each one's removed across the side and the one in the center and the bottom and of course the side panels. Now we're ready to open it. So to do this, I'm going to put it here and it will just rock forward.
like so. So they actually make it quite easy to access this. And you see that it hinges on these pieces here. If you needed to take it off, you'd have to disconnect these connections. I'm not going to do that. Uh, and the battery is right in there. So it's quite easy to access. I will show you the battery and zoom in so you can check this out. The battery is right under there and we can shine a light on it. So the battery's right there. I'm just gonna slide it out and put a new one in and uh, we'll be good to go. I'm going to take the battery out now. You want to be very careful not to damage any of these uh, any of these ribbon cables. If you damage these ribbon cables, you're going to be in for it. This one is especially thin. So to take the battery out, um, I had to press it this way and then lift up past the locking mechanism and then slide out. So you kind of have to press it in towards the spring part and then up and out like that. Old battery, goodbye. Also, the battery goes in this orientation. Uh, you know, the flat side goes up, the curved side goes down. This is the positive end, so this goes up. Okay. New battery's installed, we'll reassemble. The reassembly procedure is going to be the same as disassembly, but in reverse. Uh, just making sure everything's good here. Everything okay? All right. Now when you put this back down, it has to be in the correct position. These lips here have to go on the outside of this rail. So make sure that when it goes back down, it's on the outside of both rails. You may have to shimmy around. There it goes. And now it's together. So now that we have it, I'll start putting the screws back in. Now when I put the screws back in, I will not tighten them all the way. I want to make sure that I can start all of the screws before I tighten them all, because sometimes it might not be in the correct position and you might not be able to get some of them started because they're not all tight. So I will start them all and then tighten them once I get them all started to make sure that it's not to the side or off center with the hole. They should start quite easily. These are machine thread. So if you're having to struggle with it, it may be cross-threaded. You don't want to cross-thread them either. Okay. those screws in. So now I will go back and tighten them all. And when I say tighten, I don't mean, uh, you don't really have to apply German torque on them. That would be good and tight. We just want them good and snug. So they won't fall out. You don't really want to crank down on it, but you do want it tight enough where it won't loosen by itself. If you move these things around a lot periodically, you may want to check them. Okay, this is the bottom. Put it 
back up. Tighten these on the side. Okay, all of them are tied again. Now to install the side panels again. And we'll have this complete. Okay, just need to get the one on the bottom now. I try not to flip it over on the back unless I take the card out because it has these knobs that on the um, expansion slot and I don't like to put any pressure on those knobs. So if I do have to put it on the back, it might be a good idea to take the expansion card out before you do that. So I'd like to go over towards the front. Okay, there you have it. It's all back together. And we have replaced the battery, and now the clock should hold time, so you don't have to reset it every time you turn it on and off, if that's important to you. You can see it didn't take me very long to do that. That's a quite simple process. You just need a number two Phillips. Till next time.